Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I have got a kind of small Dollar Tree haul and I'm really excited about the items that I found. So I'm just gonna get right into it. Um, starting with this box of um, dryer sheets. This is the Breezy brand. Uh, you do get 55 in here, which I thought was a really good deal. Um, usually me and my husband pick up the bounce um, dryer sheets that Dollar Tree carries. I think you only get like maybe 20 of them in a box. So it's not a, a really good deal. So we decided to give these a try um, because you get so many. Um, it smells pretty good from outside of the box. Uh, but let me know down below in the comments if you guys have tried this before. Um, and let me know if the scent lasts. Um, I just feel like the scent isn't going to last very long on the clothes, but I mean, let me know if you've tried them out. I've never tried any of the like off-brand dryer sheets before. I also picked up this bag. Now, I don't normally use like the laundry pods, but I got this bag because it's, I thought it was such a good deal. You get 16 packs in here of these Ajax uh, laundry packs. Um, let's see what the scent is. The scent is Mountain Air. And I just, I thought that was such a good deal. Um, I Sometimes I'll run out of laundry soap and it's always good for me to keep stuff like this in um, by our laundry area, just in case I run out and I have to do clothes for work or we need like clean towels or something. So it's just good to keep this just in case we run out of our normal detergent. So I'm gonna give these a try and see if I like them. Um, I picked this up uh, for my sister's birthday. Her birthday is not until January, um, but I saw this and I figured I might as well grab it now because I might not see it again in January, but I got her this big gift bag and I really love the gift bags from Dollar Tree, uh, but this one has Baby Yoda on it. I thought that was really, really super cute. And it's a pretty decent sized gift bag. Um, you fit a lot of stuff in here. And I, I really like it when, uh, when Dollar Tree gets like the name brand, like licensed characters um, on their gift bags. I think that's really nice because a bag like this, like at Walmart, I think would cost like maybe $5. Um, they can get kind of pricey. But I thought this was super cute. I like the little pictures on here. I thought that was really adorable. And I did find these vases. I think they're so, so stunning. I got two of them. Whenever I buy like decor items, I usually buy two. Um, but I got these right here. I liked the shape of them. Um, but I really liked this color right here. I know the lighting, it, it might not be picking it up, but it's kind of like a, like a really light pink color, like a blush pink. And I thought this would look really pretty in our dining room. It kind of matches like the table runner that I have on my dining room table. So I grabbed two of these because I thought they were super pretty. And I haven't seen these at my Dollar Tree before. These were kind of new to me. And I also picked up a few toy items, not very much. Um, I've been on the hunt for these because I know uh, some of my nieces and nephews like those like fidget toys. Um, so these ones were kind of different. These are the bendy tubes. Um, I've seen a lot of people hauling these. So I got them in a few different colors um, here. I thought these were really neat. Um, I think they look like a lot of fun. I almost wish I would have got myself some just because I like to play with these kind of toys too. Uh, but I got these for my nieces and nephews to kind of throw in their stocking for Christmas. I thought that would be really cool to include that because they really like those like bubble pop uh, fidget toys. So I hopefully they like those tubes as well. Uh, my husband, when he, he came with me to the store and he, oh, he likes to always look through the DVDs. He doesn't always find stuff that he wants, but he did find two movie titles that he wanted to pick up. He got this one here, um, Elvis as kid as kid Galahad I don't know if I'm saying that right um, my husband likes Elvis um, he likes a lot of his movies as well he hasn't seen this one but he just wanted to pick it up and then this one right here I'm really actually like interested in watching this is Lars and the real girl and it's starring Ryan Gosling um, I really like Ryan Gosling he's one of my favorite actors um, so I'm excited to see how this movie is and I did pick up um, a few other things for Christmas um, as well. Anytime I see gifts that could be good for my father-in-law, I pick them up because he's so <laughs> difficult to shop for, I guess, because he's very practical. Um, so I did get, and I found a few name brand socks at Dollar Tree, 
and I had to grab one for each of the guys in my family so that way I can give them to them like as part of their Christmas gift but I got these um, mossy oak full cushion thermal socks they have like the red like top here they're kind of like long socks and they feel really soft and I could tell that they're gonna be very warm. And I know I've seen this Mossy Oak brand at Walmart before. So they did come in red and black. So I got, I got quite a few of them. Um, I got these right here, just so I can give them out. I think these make really good gifts because I know they're, they're practical and they're name brand. And especially that time of year, um, around Christmas time, it's gonna be pretty cold. So I think these will come in handy. And I'm just so excited that I found these for just a dollar. I thought that was such a good deal, um, especially when I can find Christmas stuff for a dollar. I love that. Now everything else in my haul is from, is like hair, makeup kind of stuff, um, but I'll start with this. Um, I got me one of these loofahs and I hate buying these loofahs at Dollar Tree because I just feel like they're kind of like, like flimsy almost. Um, but I felt this one and it felt pretty like full, like it, I felt like there was a lot of like of this, I don't know what to call this, like this material, you could tell there was a lot of it like bunched up, it felt more like solid I guess. And I don't know if this is a Dollar Tree brand. I don't, I don't see anything about like Greenbrier, but this is what the tag looks like. I thought that was really cute. So this might be like a name brand um, loofah. I'm not really sure, but I do know that it feels really nice. Got a few hair items, not too much. Um, I don't really wear a lot of stuff in my hair, but I just, I could not resist with these two. Um, this one right here I thought was super stunning. I loved those like rhinestones. I thought they were so pretty. And it is like this, like kind of clip that you like bend down. I thought that was really, really pretty. And maybe I'll put it in my hair today for work. I'm about to go to work right now. I, I'm actually like, I need to leave as soon as I'm done filming this. <laughs> so maybe I'll put this in my hair and wear it today. And then this one was totally new to me. I think it is so, so stunning. Um, but this is like a moon shaped barrette and it's like a pretty gold color. And then this one here is the type of clip. I try to take it out of the packaging so you can see. It's like, it has that little like kind of ball right there. And then it kind of just clamps over like that. So maybe if your hair is like super thick, this probably wouldn't work. I think this would be nice for Halloween time just because it kind of gives me like, I don't know, witchy vibes. Thought it was really, really pretty. And I picked up another nail polish. I know I'm trying to stop buying so much nail polish, um, but I really, really like this color. Um, this is the Sally Hansen Color Therapy. And it does say it has um, argan oil in the formula. And this shade is, um, ready. Oh, here it is. Red E to glow. That's the name of the shade here. I don't know if you can see it there at the top. I really like red nail polish and the Sally Hansen brand I think works really, really well. I feel like it chips less than like regular, like cheaper brands of nail polish. Cause I think a bottle like this, like if you were to go to Walgreens, it might cost like four or $5. So to find it for just a dollar was a really good deal. And then I do have a few makeup items. Um, I actually I actually hauled all of this stuff um, from the weekend because I was on the hunt for the Profusion Mean Girls uh, makeup collection. I saw uh, Megan over at Money Saving Megan. Um, she did a walkthrough, a Dollar Tree walkthrough, and she showed like a Gretchen Wieners palette, a Karen Smith palette, I think her name's Karen Smith and um, and a, like a little lip gloss set. And I was just on the hunt for any of those items. I really love Mean Girls and I really love like the Profusion makeup products. So I went to like five different Dollar Trees over the weekend looking for this makeup. I couldn't find it at any of my stores. So I, I don't normally ask people for like my wish list items. I just like, I don't know, I feel guilty doing that. 
but I was just like so desperate to find that makeup. If you see the Profusion Mean Girls makeup, if you could send it to me, just DM me on Instagram. Uh, I will send you the money for the shipping. I just really, really want to try out those products. Um, so thank you guys ahead of time just for hearing me out. Um, but let me get into the makeup that I did find because I did find a lot of really good makeup over the weekend. Even though it wasn't what I was looking for, I did find some good stuff. Um, I'll start with this because I've seen a lot of people haul it and I was just dying to try it. Um, this is the, uh, the Shea Moisture <clears throat> African Black Soap Clarifying Facial Wipes. Um, it's a small pack. I think you get 10 of them. But Oh, but they are biodegradable. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Um, so I got a pack of these. I think these would be really nice to travel with. I really like the packaging. I really like that they're biodegradable. Um, so I thought these would be nice to try because I know that this is a name brand. And I got, I, I've seen a lot of people showing these in walkthroughs and I normally don't like to buy sponges other than the ones from Shop Miss A, but I decided to give it a try. Um, this is by The Beauty Collection. This is a blender sponge, latex free. Um, just from the outside packaging, it feels kind of soft. Um, it feels softer than the ones that you would get from like Sassy and Chic at Dollar Tree. So I'll, I'll try this out and see how it works. Maybe I'll use it like in a get ready with me video so I can kind of give it a better review. Um, but yeah, I thought it was really pretty. I like the pink and white together. And this is, you know what, I'm going to save this for last. I have some new stuff. I'll save it for last. Um, the next thing that I found was brand new to me. I've never seen it before. Um, this is by Flower Beauty, and it's this really pretty, like, shimmery lip gloss, and it has, like, these cute, like, constellations here at the top. I thought that was super, super pretty. I've never seen this from the Flower brand before. This is in the shade Milky Way, and this is the Galaxy Glaze Holographic Lip Gloss, and I thought that was so, so pretty. Can't wait to try this out. And then I got another um, lip product, but this one, I kind of got it for Halloween time. Um, I don't have any black lipstick, but I saw this one from Wet n Wild and I just had to pick it up. I love black lip. I wish I could wear black lipstick all the time. I wish it was socially acceptable to wear it on a daily basis because I just like the way I look in black lipstick, um, but I'm definitely gonna wear it for Halloween. I don't know what I'm gonna dress up as or anything, but I know I'm gonna be wearing black lipstick. And then this was new to my Dollar Tree. I've been really excited to try this for a really long time. I just never wanted to fork out the money to buy this. Um, but this is the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. It comes in this nice like glass, like frosted bottle. This is in the shade Sand. That was the only shade that they had at my store and I was really nervous it was not gonna match because it's it's super hard. Even though I like the look of the frosted glass, it is kind of hard to tell like what the shade is gonna be. So um, I bought two of these and I, I already tried it out. I'm actually wearing it right now. I think it's a pretty decent match. It is a little bit lighter than I typically like to wear my foundation, um, but I think with, that's because I've been tanning during the summer. So maybe during the winter time, this will be more my shade. Um, but I think these are like six bucks at Walmart. So I was really excited to try it for just a dollar. And um, if you're if you're a little bit more on the fair side, like medium to light, I think this will work. Um, but I just wish they had a few more color selections, but that's kind of how it goes at Dollar Tree. Um, and then the last two items that I have here are from a brand, a makeup brand I've never heard of. Um, this is the BYS brand and I found this really pretty bronze bronzing powder palette. Sorry, I'm trying not to blind you. This is what it looks like. I'll take it out of this little like plastic sleeve it came in. And this is the, the casing here. I thought it was really, really pretty. It looks really nice. Um, it's like a, it's not like a, it doesn't feel super like expensive or anything, but it does feel a lot nicer than a lot of the other palettes like the Dollar Tree normally carries. Um, I don't know if I'll use it for bronzing. I might just use it for eyeshadow, but either way, I was just really happy to find this. I thought this was a really, really pretty palette. And the last item here is from that same uh, BYS brand, um, but this is the um, Synthetic Contour Blending Brush. 
and this is what it looks like here oh my gosh i thought this looked so nice i thought it looked really high end so i'm just gonna open it see what the brush like what the little bristles feel like oh yeah this this feels nice it has some weight to it it's not super soft I, I, it doesn't feel super soft but yeah that's that's a nice brush it just looks really really nice like it costs way more than a dollar and I'm excited to add this to my collection. Um, and that was everything you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching this video, especially if you made it to the end, please be sure to like, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh my God.